I am in the car, and I am waiting for Dan's interview. <laughs> I don't know why I decided to do this. It's raining. It's 7 o'clock. I haven't had dinner. But I'm waiting for Dan to finish his second interview, and I'm sitting in the car, and I'm practicing taking pictures with my camera and using magazines and raindrops and etc. And I just felt like I needed to make a video saying that you are unbelievably loved. And it doesn't matter what kind of negative things people have to say about you or whatever they decide they want to declare over you. It isn't true. You can do anything you want to do. And it's only by you believing in yourself and saying, actually, it's not cocky to believe in myself and believe in my dreams and want to go somewhere. Like, that's not cocky. And I am taking that on board and I'm going to follow my dreams and you guys should do the same. Follow your freaking dreams. You only, don't really only live once, but it's a big deal to live your life and enjoy it. And so with that being said, enjoy your life. Side note, people are running past me watching me talk to you and that is completely okay. Moving on to side note, which was created from side note, which is, it doesn't even matter what people think. Some days I feel like it does, some days I feel like it doesn't. These are one of those days, it just does not matter. As long as you are loving people well, and you are not being nasty or malicious, it's okay to be you. You were created to be you. Nobody can do things like you can do them. There is no one else on this planet that is me. There is no one else on this planet that is you. And you need to embrace that. Shortly after filming, re-watching my encouraging clip, I realized half of the film it was like this. Which is totally fine, except <laughs> slightly distracting. So, as I wait in the car, not really knowing why I'm filming, what I'm filming for, I just am having one of those days where I'm feeling like I want to take on the world. And... I want to express that to you, so if you are having one of those days, or you're going to have one of those days in the future, you know that other people are backing you up and they believe in what you want to do. I'm sick of people saying, oh well I can't become a professional football player because they get scouted when they're like seven. That is baloney. And FIFA, coordination, whatever your name is, if you're watching this, that is ridiculous. Somebody should not have to be scouted when they're seven to do what they love. So <laughs> if you are 25 years old and you want to play a professional sport, pursue it because I'm sure you're good enough and if you're not, you can get there. What other things can I talk about and rant about? Let's talk about beauty for a second because this is where my heart just skips a beat. Me and the Lord are on the same page about this and it just needs to be stated that you are freaking hot, whoever is watching this. And it is okay to be you. Not only that, this also needs to be stated that there is someone out there in the world who is praying for a woman like you, which sounds so crazy to think about and to say, but it's true. Where people are walking by as I say this, but I don't care, I'm gonna say it anyways. It is true. Embrace who you are, and I am in the process of doing it. And I'm probably not very good at it, but it is completely and totally fine because every day I will embrace it more and more and more. But the point is, you are so beautiful and if your boobs are not a double D and your butt is not bigger than the globe, that is okay. Not everyone is going to look like Kim Kardashian. In fact, I'm pretty positive, no offense Kim, I'm sure you are a lovely woman. But I don't even think Kim looks like Kim <laughs> because there is Photoshop and plastic surgery and it is just sickening to know that the whole idea of beauty has been warped but doesn't have to be warped in your world. And I'm learning that it doesn't have to be warped in mine. I don't actually need to believe that there is one definition of beauty. There is a hundred million billion definitions and that's the way the Lord intended it to be. If he wanted there to be one definition of beauty, there would be one woman on this earth, there would be one type of cake, there would be only one sunset, there would be only one article of clothing, but there isn't. There is so much variety and there's so many different people with so many different personalities. And that is something to be embraced and celebrated. And today, on this very eccentric day of mine, I am choosing to celebrate it and say, actually, I'm going to like myself because that is attractive. 
And when you speak life over yourself, and this is something that I've learned, when I speak life over myself and I say, you know what, Alicia? It doesn't matter that you are in the beginnings of a B cup. Rock it. Because you look good. Like, it just doesn't even matter. If you are loving and kind, and if you are confident, and being confident is not only expressed in one way. It can be and look like so many different types of things. But if you just choose to love yourself, that is attractive. Like that, I'm if I were to see you walking down the street and I could tell that you loved yourself, I would be like, what is she wearing today? What kind of confidence perfume is that? Can I get some? Because it's like, that is attractive. People are drawn to that. And I'm going to choose to, to do that, to wake up in the morning and say, you know what? just be you because it that's awesome you're awesome and it's not even cocky to wake up and say it's not that I'm saying I'm better than anyone else it's just me saying I'm happy to be me today and I can get a lot more done by me saying you know what Alicia I love you you're awesome I'm on your side because who needs to be against ourselves that's just crazy to think about how we are our own worst enemy and we're always against ourselves like it's okay to wake up in the morning and be like I'm on my side today Let's go do this crazy thing called life and work it out. This is wonderful. <laughs> so with that being said, you are cherished. You are sexy. You are loved. It's possible to be sexy and Jesus loving and modest. It really is. I'm in the process of learning that. But when you wake up in the morning and you're like, I'm doing this, no makeup on, I can't be bothered to brush my hair, but I am going to live my life today. Like that, I'm sorry, but if that doesn't scream sexy, I don't know what screams sexy. And I've never said sexy so many times in a sentence. So whoever is watching this, you should feel honored that I'm saying it about you. You heard me. You. <laughs> it is you I'm saying this about.